Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here. Just wanted to give you an update about a demo situation. 21 years he's facing for uh, allegedly wiretapping three public officials who were on duty at the time when he called them, aware that he was seeking comment, aware that he was caught blocked out of work. Um, and again, he was trying to follow up on the misdeeds done by Manchester PD employee Darren Murphy, who slammed a high school student onto the table last October. So fortunately, this incident has gotten picked up by some good media. The Huffington Post covered it, which has gotten a lot of eyes. Uh, Cena, as I report, covered it. Right now, it's the most popular story ever on that site. Uh, Wikilinks yesterday tweeted it to their million and a half uh, followers, which is awesome. We're big fans of Wikilinks and a number of other sites and blogs have picked it up. So much love to everybody who's helped to share this and uh, change the, the uh, culture, the climate of opinion about this situation. Uh, public officials have no right to privacy when they're acting in their official capacity. So it's ridiculous that Adamo maybe uh, is threatened with over two decades of his life in a cage for that action. But uh, real quickly, uh, I wanted to share a video. This is, uh, I had my friend Clyde Voluntarius, the founder of NeverTakeAPlea.org and Carolina's Cop Block, to uh, narrate the text that has been published in the Union Leader, the most circulated paper here in the Shire. They, the Union Leader published a front page article yesterday about an animal situation that was pretty solid. And again today, August 6th, they posted a, uh, they published an article about his jury selection, which happened yesterday. So. Uh, the following video is Clyde's voice narrating the text from the Union Leader articles, and I'll splice in from time to time with some uh, points that I think need clarification or expanded so uh, expanded details. So, again, much love for everybody. I hope to see a lot of y'all on the ground out here, August 13th, Manchester Superior Court. Peace. Reading from the New Hampshire Union Leader, Monday, August 6, 2012 edition, from Staff Reports. Manchester. Jury selection is scheduled to begin next Monday in Hillsborough County Superior Court North for the wiretap trial of Adam Miller, 30, who in a blog post Friday said he had refused a plea deal that could have avoided him prison time. Miller, also known as Adamo Freeman, was indicted in November 2011 on three counts of wiretapping. He is accused of recording phone conversations with a Manchester police captain, the Manchester High School West principal, and a school secretary, all without their permission. In a blog post on copblock.org, Miller, writing under his alias, claims he was offered a plea deal of a two-year suspended sentence by Assistant Hillsborough County Attorney Michael G. Valentine. Quote, Here's how I see the offer. It's a stellar deal if I actually thought what I had done was wrong, Miller wrote. He said he's refusing the deal. Quote, First, I can't go against my principles and sign a deal that says I acknowledge my actions as wrong or illegal, he wrote. Second, I'm not a hypocrite. How can I advocate refusing plea deals and sign one myself? I don't judge anyone who has taken plea deals because each case charge is different. Third, I'm confident I can show a jury with facts and logic that I shouldn't be caged for my actions. End quote. Valentine could not be reached for comment. These conversations involved an incident October 3rd at West High School in which a school resource officer arrested a student in the cafeteria. The incident was videotaped by another student who had met Miller and his copblock.org co-founder, Pete Ayer, a few weeks before. Miller is accused of recording conversations about the incident October 4 with police captain Jonathan Hopkins, West Principal Mary Ellen McGorry, and West Secretary Denise Michael without their consent. The student video shows the officer grabbed a student, pushed him face down on a cafeteria table, and handcuffed him. As part of the video posted on copblock.org, Miller included portions of recorded phone calls with Hopkins, McGorry, and Michael. Under the state's wiretap law, it is a crime to audio record someone without his permission if the speaker has a reasonable expectation that what he is saying is not subject to interception. Miller claims he told the people he was recording that he was from copblock.org and was seeking comment about the incident, but edited that portion out of the video posted on the website. In his blog entry, Miller says he looks forward to his trial. Quote, so unless Michael Valentine or the judge decides to drop my charges completely, I say, let the circus begin, he wrote. Miller joined the Free State Movement when members passed through Jackson, Wisconsin, where he was living at the time. The Free State Project is an effort to relocate 20,000 libertarian-minded people to New Hampshire to engage in the local political process 
in hopes of creating communities where government involvement is limited. Miller and his supporters argue that a public official who is on duty and in a public space has no expectation of privacy, citing a 2011 First Circuit Court of Appeals ruling, Glick v. Kuniff, involved a man arrested after recording Boston police making an arrest on Boston Common in 2007. The ruling states that the First Amendment protects the right to record police in public. Simon Glick was charged with illegal wiretapping, aiding the escape of a prisoner and disturbing the peace. After a Boston Municipal Court judge dismissed the criminal charges, Glick filed a civil rights suit in federal court. Wiretapping is a Class B felony. Each of Miller's felony charges carries a prison term of three and a half to seven years and a fine. In January, Miller was given two concurrent 12-month sentences with 10 months suspended on resisting arrest convictions in connection with an incident in June 2011 in which people chalked comments on the walls of the Manchester Police Department. Just to clarify, he was sentenced to 12 months in a cage for going limp when he was arrested for riding with children's chalk on the side of a building. 12 months with 10 months stayed. But that's the resisting that's referenced. He wasn't aggressive. He didn't assault anybody. He went limp. New Hampshire Union Leader, Tuesday, August 7, 2012, page A5. Headline, Protesters hand out leaflets during jury selection and wiretapping case. Manchester. About two dozen protesters were outside the Hillsborough County Superior Court North Monday morning greeting potential jurors in next week's trial of Adam Miller, 30, who is accused of recording telephone conversations with a police officer, high school principal, and school secretary without their consent. Good jurors nullify bad laws, read one homemade sign. Others carried bright yellow signs with wording in bold black saying, Jury Duty, nhjury.com, 1-800-T-E-L-J-U-R-Y. The website advocates jury nullification whereby a juror would vote his conscience and vote not guilty, even in cases where there is evidence of guilt. The protesters were supporting Miller, a founder of the website copblock.org, who recorded the phone calls in connection with a video recording made of the arrest of a student in the cafeteria at West High School. They also distributed pamphlets titled No Victim, No Crime, and Your Jury Rights, True or False. The pamphlets provided information about jury nullification and a hung jury, which is when a jury cannot reach a unanimous verdict, and the defendant is either retried or the case is dropped. Clerk of Court John Safford and some of the people called for jury duty had been handed the pamphlets, but nothing was made of it by court officials. Miller of Jackson, Wisconsin, who goes by the alias Adamo Freeman, was indicted in November 2011 on three counts of wiretapping. He's accused of recording phone conversations with Manchester Police Captain Jonathan Hopkins, West High School Principal Mary Ellen McGorry, and Denise Michael, a school secretary, all without their consent. Curiously enough, Mary Ellen McGorry used to be an assistant attorney with the Hillsborough County. Again, Adamo is being charged in, Hill in Hillsborough County and tried in Hillsborough County Superior Court. It seems a little incestuous. The conversations were about an October 3rd arrest of a West High School student in the cafeteria. The arrest by the school resource officer was videotaped by another student who had met Miller and CopBlock.org co-founder Pete Ayer a few weeks before. Individuals are responsible for their actions. As such, this individual, the aggressor in the situation, should be named, not just blandly referred to and given a free pass by calling him a school liaison officer or Manchester police employee. His name is Darren Murphy. Darren Murphy. The video showed the officer grabbing the student, pushing him face down on a cafeteria table, and handcuffing him. Miller used portions of his recorded phone conversations with Hopkins, McGorry, and Michael in a video he posted on copblock.org. The website and organization describes itself as a decentralized project supported by a diverse group of individuals united by their shared goal of police accountability, which documents police actions, whether they are illegal, immoral, or just a waste of time and resources, then putting direct pressure on individuals responsible, ideally while recording and later sharing. About a dozen of the protesters entered the courthouse to sit through Miller's jury selection. While they did not stand when Judge Kenneth Brown entered the courtroom, they heeded his advice to stand when the 50 members of the jury pool entered, so as not to negatively affect the potential juror's impression of Miller. A panel of 15 jurors, 10 women and 5 men, was seated in about an hour. 
The trial will begin Monday and is expected to last one to two days. At its conclusion, 12 jurors will deliberate, with the remaining jurors designated as alternates. Under the state's wiretap law, it is a crime to audio record someone without that person's permission if the speaker has a reasonable expectation that what he is saying is not subject to interception. Miller and his supporters argue that a public official who is on duty and in a public space has no expectation of privacy. Miller says he identified himself as being from coplock.org and was seeking comment about the incident, but edited that portion out of the video posted on the website. Miller is a member of the Free State Project, an effort to relocate 20,000 libertarian-minded people to New Hampshire to engage in the local political process in hopes of creating communities where government involvement is limited.